Okay, here we are at my vanity section in my bedroom. Um, as you can see, I have a shelf to the left and then my main makeup station where all my makeup is held. Yes, I'm able to make my makeup all stay there. But yes, this is the section that we're gonna be exploring today. Okay, let's first start with the shelf. So I got the shelf custom made from a local store here in Toronto called Contrast Living. They make customized furniture um, and they do more of like the industrial kind of look. So I use this shelf to showcase my most used purses at the moment. Not only is it a showcase kind of thing, but it's also because it's easier for me to just grab it on the shelf since they're my most used purses right now rather than having going into my closet and having to unpack it i kind of just put my most used bags right here so they're easy to grab so on top i haven't really decided like how i want to decorate it yet so i just kind of put my carte boxes up there because i have nowhere else to put them and my neutral celine bag the second shelf is probably my favorite. It's very simple, but has a touch of girly flair to it. I like using perfume bottles and nice nail polish bottles to um, use as decor. And then again with this one, I just have a perfume bottle and some uh, YSL polishes that I love. And then this shelf is my like accessories and jewelry. So I got this sunglasses stand that I really, really like. It pulls out like this. I got this from Muji. I don't know where I got this jewelry box because it was a gift, but then I have my Pandora jewelry box which kind of has like my most worn jewelry in there. And then behind there, I just have a uh, stand for my bracelets. The very bottom one, I don't really have any decor because I don't want my dog to really chew at any decor. So I just throw kind of like my everyday bag, which is my Gianchi one that um, I use every day. Moving on to my desk. On top of my desk, I have... These uh, shelves that I got from Ikea, I installed them into the wall by myself. And it was really hard because behind my drywall was concrete. So uh, it was a mission to kind of put those up. So as you can see, I have a whole row of Essie. And then a whole row of OPI. And then I used to have a whole row of China Glaze, but I recently got rid of it because I don't actually like China Glaze polish that much. So then I replaced this one with my gel polishes that I'm loving. Like, I'm loving these Essie Gel Couture polishes. They're amazing. I'm wearing it on my nail right now. They stay so long. And then I have the Vinyl Lux, which are another gel ones, and um, the Sally, Sally Hansen gel ones. All these gels do not need the UV light, which is what I like. And then I have um, just some of more like designer polishes that kind of fill up the space there. Wee, hello, it's me. So on my desk, I don't have too much. I like to keep a clean space. I just have my lipstick holders, um, and those I got from Muji. And then I have all my skincare stuff that I use, you know, um, that's not the sink, Think things I use after I wash my face, um, my brushes and my mirror. So my skincare is kind of broken down to sections. Like these are just more like miscellaneous things, masks, moisturizers, um, moisturizing serums or oils, makeup remover, eye contact lens thing, um, eye creams and treatments. So getting more in depth into my lipstick collection, this first row is all YSL. I love YSL lippies. They're so nice and smooth. I have some that are still in their packaging because I haven't decided if I like the color enough yet to keep it, so. And the next one is all Bite Beauty, which I've been loving. Bite has been really stepping up their color game and I'm really appreciating that. They have really cool colors that like I haven't really seen a lot of other brands have. Then I have the uh, Katy Perry CoverGirl collection, which I'm loving. It's all mattes, but like a very nice creamy matte. Also have all 10 shades of the uh, CoverGirl O Sugar back here, which I put in the back because as summer comes along, I like to wear more colorful things. So Then I have some jumbo lip balms, um, or sorry, lipsticks, and then I have lip liners. I have Chanel over here, Dior, Lancome, MAC, and then various things like Urban Decay, um, Benefit products, and I think these are Estee Lauder or Estee Edit, and these are kind of like the lip glosses or liquid lip pen, liquid lippy things, like liquid lip things, I guess, and then lip balms. And then we open up the main makeup drawer. So I try to keep my makeup to a minimal amount. So I don't let myself have any more than what fits in this one drawer. This is from Ikea. So over here, you'll see I have concealers. This is face base makeup. As you can see, I don't own too much face stuff. I like to kind of rotate. Um, if I try it a few times and I don't like it, then I get rid of it and I try something else because I always have something to try. So 
the BB cream, the Garnier BB cream has stayed in here for a while. I really like it. Same with the Shuamura Glow. Um, the CoverGirl True Blend has been in here for a while. The Inglot is fairly new, but I really, really like it. And the Shiseido one is new as well that I took out for the summer. This is priming stuff, like primers and like eye primers and all that kind of stuff. Smashbox primer is my fave primer of all time. Um, here are powders. I have a lot of powders, different ones that I like to try. Like I have my Rimmel Stay Matte, which I always use, and then my Hollow Flawless for more heavy coverage, and then I have this Mini Makeup Forever HD for more photographic coverage. So all different kind of coverages. Here are highlighters, and here are uh, bronzers. With my bronzers, I have you know sticks, powders, creams, all that good stuff. And same with highlight, I have a whole bunch of different things as well. I'm really actually liking the um, Urban Decay Highlight in Sin. Loving that. It's what I'm wearing on my face like almost every day. Moving on, we have blushes. I just cleaned out my blush section recently because I put in a no new brush kit, which is over here. I'll show you guys later. I used to have a ton of blushes, but I've really minimized it now that I'm changing to palettes. So here are just the MAC blushes. Here's just like a random Asian blush that I really like. Um, here are the Shuamura cushion blushes that I like. And these are just like contour slash blush kits. Oh, I've been loving the Smashbox contour kit. So good. Moving on, we have black eyeliners, a bunch of different black eyeliners. Um, we have like kind of tools like my eyelid tape, my sharpeners, etc. Then I have the colorful liners. So yeah, I like to use colorful liners once in a while. I have my tools, like uh, my eyelash curlers, my tweezers. And then this section is all brow stuff. Like I know I have a lot of brow stuff, but... I am very passionate about my brows and I try a lot of brow products so um, these are the ones I'm currently loving. Like I'm using the Benefit one a lot now in my routine. They have such a vast eyebrow collection that like I love almost every single product so I'm trying to just use all of them. And I probably have like the most amount of mascara. You guys probably wonder like how you ever even use these but I really do truly use all of them for different occasions or different um, situations like my going out mascara versus like my everyday mascara versus like my casual no makeup makeup look mascara. I have been loving the YSL colorful mascaras. I have been using colorful mascaras like religiously every day actually. And then here is kind of my random section. I have my palettes. So here are my most used palettes are right on top. The CoverGirl Nudes one and the Naked Basics. And then I have this new um, Benefit blush palette that I've been meaning to use. That's why I got rid of all my blushes because I want to switch to this. And then a few other palettes under there that I want to end up using. I just want to try out all the other ones first. So I have a uh, Urban Decay palette and a Lancome palette that I want to eventually use in my life. Okay, here I have a dental kit because I'm weirdly obsessed with cleaning my teeth. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I have some cotton pads that I use for my face stuff and then some lashes. Well, actually a lot of lashes. These are all lashes and even behind there are more lashes. Tons of lashes, but never enough lashes actually. Okay, so there we have it. This is my vanity slash um, a quick makeup collection tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and I will answer them. So we'll talk soon. Goodbye. Oh, I'm like backing up onto another mirror. Mwah.